So I'll start by showing you how to remove this one because it's actually easier than the G model and, um, and then we'll go on to that. Basically all you need to do is these are your, um, your clamps and what they do is these are spring loaded clamps and the screws go through into this part which is your heat sink and there's the actual underside of those screws and what they do is they press the this piece of metal which is your part of your heat sink onto the top of the chip and therefore you get a good heat transfer and the heat goes out and the fans in here and it takes the heat away and therefore your your chip stays cool and this is one of the major problems that playstations have is that the chips have been heating up and the solder has been melting and that's what's causing the um, the failure the yellow light of death the red light of death is being caused by that so this heat sink and connecting it properly is very very important so that your new motherboard doesn't go the same way as your first one so to change it over what we need to do is release these screws now when you first do it, this this is an old board, this is a faulty board, um, and this has been on and off quite a few times. But when you first do it, you might have to crack these um, screws just with a, make sure you've got the correct screwdriver, this is a Phillips um, standard screwdriver, and they might just, you know, need a bit of cracking open. Um, but once, once that crack um, goes through then the, the screws just come off quite easily so there you have it um, just hold the whole thing together and this will then just lift off now ordinarily there'll be little stickers on here so when, when I say it'll just lift off what will actually happen is it's released but you might have to you know pry it open a, a little bit be gentle with it but you'll need to give it a bit of force and eventually it'll come off. Now this is the top of your chips. This particular chip has the, um, the metal plate has come off it because this, this board's been overheated by someone. Um, I received this, um, this in one of the consoles I bought and someone's obviously had a very serious go at um, re-soldering it, at re-flowing it and they've heated it so much that this top plate has come off so basically I've made no other attempt to repair this that this is just for me this is scrap um, so there you have it that's how you remove and obviously to put your new one back on if, if you have a C motherboard um, you need to apply and I'll do this with the, um, the one I'm going to show you you need to apply some um, arctic silver or other silver based um, thermal compound to the top of the chip and that acts as a sealant between these heat sink pieces of metal in the heat sink and the top of your chip and it just make sure that there's a good heat conductivity between the two um, because no matter how um, tightly you, you screw these screws in the, the, the top of the chip and the um, and this metal plate there will always be gaps in between it, minute gaps and the uh, thermal compound goes to fill those gaps so you have a good uh, conductivity of the heat so that's the C motherboard and we'll move on to the G motherboard which is slightly more complex simply because do the same thing, you remove your, your clamps in the same way. Oops, I just was a wee bit a wee bit oversprung there. Remove your clamps in the same way. And um, you know, don't do what I did there. Release release the screws gradually. here is that even although those clamps are off this this won't come out because
because there are screws underneath the motherboard attaching this base plate to the heat sink. So in order to change the heat sink in a G model, you actually need to remove the motherboard. So that's why it's, it's probably, you know, very important to pay the extra money to, to receive it with the, um, with the heat sink still attached. So that just lifts off. And the motherboard will be um, attached to the heat sink with compound and therefore you'll need to work your fingernail. Don't use any metal instruments or anything for this. You don't want to damage these um, circuits here. Use your fingers. Get it in under there and you might need to play around with this for a while. Eventually the the seal will break. Um, as I say, I did this one apart, so um, that's why everything's coming apart quite easily. Um, six screws that you need to remove in order to remove the heat sink. Just one, two. You can, if this is your old board and you, you've taken this off um, and you receive oh, that one just come out there. If you receive a board without um, without a heat sink attached, it will Now this is a faulty board guys, that's why I'm being rough with it, um, obviously um, you need to be a lot gentler with the board. Um, it'll arrive like this with um, a little screw in there and another little screw in there, there which will hold this board together and that's the way it will arrive. Now the only reason for sending it like that is because that's a lot lighter then this um, added to it um, for anyone who wants to save a bit of money in postage but to be quite honest we're better off paying the, the full whack and getting it the whole thing complete but I just thought I'd better let you see that now if you decide to do it and you receive it like this and you've taken this off your old motherboard what you need to do is you need to get thermal compound as we mentioned earlier and get the best one, the most expensive one you can get and you plaster it on there, smooth it all out put a good a good dollop on there and introduce this back over um, if I can remember which way around it goes now the only thing is before you do that is that you will have needed to reattach you need to open it up and reattach your screws so, so that that's one solid piece and then you can put your um, compound on there and pair the whole thing up again so then the compound's in there and we put the top cover back on and um, the, if you go on to the next video, we'll show you what to do with that once that's reattached. I just thought I'd better make that video for anyone who needs to change over their, their heat sink. Okay guys, that'll do. Bye.